Welcome back. We're here to preview Saturday's Premier League game between Sunderland and Swansea. Barnes, Sunderland, they're rock bottom after two really disappointing defeats. It's been a dreadful start of the season. It's hard to imagine how it could have been any worse. After the summer, after they initially advocate turned them down, but then came back, there was a bit of optimism that this might be the year that they don't be dragged into a relegation battle. But they haven't had a hard start to the season. These are two teams who are expected to also be in the relegation battle, and they've been well beaten by both and 3 0 down at one stage in the first two matches of the season. It's just been a terrible, terrible start, and especially at home, 3 1 to lose to Norwich. It's, a, it's, it's just an awful result. The fans let them know what, how they feel. They really turned on the team. In only the second game of the season, first home game of the season, to turn on the team that much, to see so many leaving so early, just. So much gloom around the club at the moment. The only shred of positivity was Watmore's goal, shinded into the net. Rather lucky to get that goal, but that got a big cheer from the crowd because it was a youngster who came in, did well on his Premier League debut. Probably the only uh, player who actually performed. But at the back, they were just they were absolutely shocking. Kabul had a really poor game. Even the the players who performed well last season, like so Van Aanholt, was one of their best players last season. Katamo was one of the best players last season. Van Aanholt got shrugged off far too easily for one of the goals, Whitaker's goal, I think it was. And Katamo was just he looked a fish out of water. He was just completely out of place for a lot of the times. One two's got him, and he's usually the the person you'd say who epitomised the fighting spirit, which have kept them up for the last couple of seasons in the closing stages of the campaign. But even he was just out of his depth in that. It was just a, a terrible performance all round for them and a, a terrible start to the season. Mm, certainly, I just wonder, sort of, you look at the characters in their team. You mentioned Kabul there, Coates, you know, and Villas come in, but these are players who sort of, you know, they've lost their way in recent seasons. And you know, I, I would usually say that Catamol would be the sort of player who you want to sort of be in there, really fighting for you. But you know, he, like you say, he looks, he looked out of place. And you know, the other players there, they just don't look like they're really. They're not just. You look at their team on paper, and you think, you know, there's a lot of experience there. You think this shouldn't be a team that's really, really struggling, but. You just wonder if the characters are gelling and if, you know, they've got enough sort of fight in the team to really even put up a fight against, you know, I mean, Norwich, they go there, you know, it's their first away game of the season. They want to put in a good performance and Sunderland just completely outplayed there and their home form is where they've really got to improve. You know, mm -hmm. I think they had one of the worst home records in the league last year and, you know, it's certainly, you know, a stadium of life is a big stadium. I mean, if they started putting in good performances, more fans would come and be a better atmosphere. But if they keep playing like this at home, you know, there's fewer and fewer people are going to be buying tickets and, like I say, leaving early as well. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's going to have an effect because when you have a bouncing home crowd, it does make a big difference, you know, when away teams come to you. And if, if, if the Sunderland fans aren't up for it, the players aren't going to be up for it and you just really see them struggling. I think it's very important for them to get some points on the ball quickly as well. I mentioned it hasn't been the hardest start to the season. They would have wanted to get maybe one win, maybe two wins out of those two opening games, but to be beaten so comprehensively in both is so worrying for them, particularly as they haven't got a hard start to the season. Swansea's not going to be an easy game, but the only member of last season's top four they played before December is Manchester United. If they get to December and they're in trouble, then they could be down by Christmas because they've got Manchester City, Chelsea, Liverpool and Arsenal all in December. That's a really tough period for them. They need to get some points on the board. But right now, it's hard to see where those points are coming from because they're playing so badly and I wouldn't back them to be any team in the league at the moment. Certainly, I'd say Swansea is one of the toughest teams you could play at the moment. They've had a fantastic start to the mm. season. Go to Chelsea, the champions on the opening day, you know, really encouraging 2-2 two -two draw there. Slightly helped by Courtois' red card, but even then, you know, they, they were matching Chelsea for long periods of that game. You know, lots of players really turning up and then Last week they had their first home game against Newcastle. You know Newcastle, one of the teams also struggling, but it's a pretty good performance from Swansea again. You know another sending off. You know for the team they were facing. So you could argue perhaps that they've had it slightly easy. They've been facing ten men for you know you know a large period of both of their sort of opening games. But even then, you know you look at the players who've scored. Gomez and Ayu on the score sheet again, two and two for them. Gomez he's now got seven and eight. You know he's playing brilliantly, and you know there's still got other players to really shine. You know Sigurdsson almost scored. He's he's a star player for them. Shelby's had a he's doing really well for them defensively. Ashley Williams, you know, I just look across their team, Swansea, and you know they do look really solid, and it's been a great start to the season. It has been a great start to the season, as you say. Their key players have been they've really turned up. Ayew's made enjoyed a superb start to his career there. He's got two goals in two now, both really well taken goals. The header and the goal against Chelsea, which was I, I love that goal, dragged it back, kept his composure. And at home. Shelby, as you mentioned, he got the assist for Gomez's goal, really good pass. He's There's talk of him getting an England recall now and he's not too far away from that. that that's how well he's playing. Gomez, the composure he showed uh, to finish that one, that would be that really pleased Monk as much as the performance of many of, the, of, his, of his other players. Sorry, because the big question over Gomez was, is he good enough to replace Bonnie? But he started the season really well, as you say, seven goals in his last eight games. That's a really good stat, that is, and it gives him... He's the focal point for the team now, for the likes of Montero, who's just 
he's been the star player for Swansea this season. He gave Ivanovic the run around and Jan Mat couldn't cope with him, had to get sent off in the first half and could have potentially been sent off before he even did because it was just it was always coming that red card. Montero just had the beating of him every single time. If those players can continue to play as they are this season, then a European push is certainly on the cards for them, I think. Certainly, they'll, they'll definitely fancy themselves in this one with a Sunderland team that's just completely reeling. What's your prediction? Yeah, I can't back Sunderland at the moment. They're just so poor. I, I think I'm going to go for quite a comfortable away win, 2-0 to Swansea. 2-0 to Swansea, yeah. I'm going to back the Swans as well. I mean, I think it might be a bit closer, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 Swansea win. So, both picking Swansea to win on the road here. Thanks for joining us.